Say hey! Ho! Theresa May has got to go! Say hey! Ho! Theresa May has got to go! Say hey! Ho! Theresa May has got to go! Did you notice, as soon as they finished the referendum, they said there was £250 billion for big business and banks because they had a problem. While they were telling us there's no money. Why is there always money for war? Why is there always money for Trident? Why is there always money for those things, not for our hospitals and schools, and not for refugees drowning in the sea? We have to link the struggles. are using austerity as an excuse to blame the migrants as a scapegoat saying that we can't use money for public services such as the NHS because of the immigration when actually that's actually the opposite they're using it for the bankers and for their bonuses instead of putting it into the economy and for the people. I think it's really important that people show up to these demos because then we can show that the dissatisfaction that the general public have with the government. Theresa May is our new Prime Minister Boris Johnson's Foreign Secretary, which to me doesn't really make much sense. And if we're all on the street showing our support for Jeremy Corbyn, he might have a better chance of getting into Parliament in the future. And that is as socialists, well, as socialists what we want overall is revolution. But first step towards that is getting the Tories out of Parliament. I think it's great that we're all here today because it's really important to make the Tories understand that we are not going to allow them to escape our refugees and Muslims as an excuse to put their austerity agenda together and it's and i guess for us it's absolutely fantastic that standard race and people's assembly have come together because the two issues are so connected i don't think you can fight racism without talking about the austerity agenda and i don't think you can beat i don't think you can push back the austerity agenda without talking about the fact that they're using racism to divide us I hope, you know, with all the demonstration stuff, that we really push back the Tory agenda. And let's be quite honest, Theresa May is not an elected uh, leader of this country. You know, she's just been put there by her party, and I think that's not acceptable. We should have a general election, and we hopefully get Corbyn in. Without struggle, there is no progress. As Frederick Douglass, the great abolitionist, black liberation fighter in the United States of America said in the 19th century, and that is true today. And that's why it's so pleasing to see the struggle rising again of black and white people fighting for justice, social justice, and in that fight for social justice, recognising that racism is at the core of it. They use it in this country, in Britain, with their hatred of refugees that they tried to whip up in order to divert people away from the cuts and all the other inequalities that they are creating at the top of society. And they're doing it in America too. And the people are now paying the price for that war is not Tony Blair, is not Jack Straw, is not any of the politicians who voted for that war. The people paying the price are the millions of Iraqis. The people paying the price are those families of soldiers who died during the war. The people paying the price are the Muslims of Europe who've been faced with a huge wave of Islamophobia and racism since that war began, which has got worse and worse. We bomb Muslim countries, where we occupy Muslim countries, and where we treat Muslims in the most racist way. And are we then surprised, as even MI5 has said, that the level of terrorism has risen? And we now live in a very, very dangerous situation. Because across Europe and across the world, there is a polarisation of politics. There are those who are looking to far-right solutions. And these are the people who are putting up fences against the refugees, who are allowing the refugees to drown in the Mediterranean, who are deporting them back to Turkey, which has no democracy, but which they say they will be safe in. Those people are suffering as a result of it. And we should say, the refugee crisis is not a crisis, it is a product of these wars and we have to support the refugees and their rights to come here. What can we learn from Theresa May about anti-racism? Absolutely nothing. They will use racism in order to scapegoat people, in order to get us to accept lower wages, zero hours conditions, all the other things they're trying to inflict on us. And I'm making it absolutely clear from Stop the War, we defend Jeremy Corbyn.
children. We want him. We want him to continue. We want him to continue to be the leader of the Labour Party. We want him to be Prime Minister of this country. And when people say he's unelectable, go and fight in defence of his policies. Go and fight against austerity. Go and fight against racism. Fight against war. And let's see who's unelectable. All of us who oppose racism and austerity, whatever party we're in, should do everything we can to make sure he's victorious. I was asked by a TV station today about are we confident about being able to challenge what we've got in front of us. And my answer to that is yes. And I want to tell you why. The truth is, when you hear that they put Theresa May in, the idea is that she's supposed to be strong and that she can't be defeated. But this is rubbish. Somebody just shouted bullshit. And that's true. The reason why. What, the question is, who's going to pay for the crisis that we face today? I was asked another question. They said that people are suffering, and I said that's true. They are suffering from joblessness, the lack of housing, division. But who is to blame for that? The people to blame for that are the Tories, are the bosses, are the bankers, are the rich people. And that's the truth. And the reason why I support Jeremy Corbyn is this. I support Jeremy Corbyn. I've heard ideas about how to fight for a man called Stephen Kinnock. And he said, we need to put forward a radical idea. We need to cut the top tax, the rate of tax for the rich, to 40%. That's so radical. Let's give more money to the greedy bastards that have already made a mess of our world. Why? We call this demonstration because refugees are not to blame. And we want to send another message to Theresa May. If you're a migrant worker, from wherever you are, you're welcome here to stay. You're welcome here to stay. And when I say to the BNP and the EDL, said they were going to march today. Ooh, ooh. They managed to get 50 people together. 50 people is 50 too much. But I tell you this, we put the BMP in the bin. We destroyed Nick Griffin. And as we destroyed Nick Griffin, where's Tommy Robinson? He's lost his army because we destroyed that as well. Black, black, white, gay, straight, we all came together. So we have Black Lives Matter on the demo. We have many members of the Labour Party supporting Jeremy Corbyn. We have trade unionists and so on. And this is important because after the Brexit vote, many people were worried that there was going to be a swing to the right. Now, of course, the Brexit vote did have elements of racism within it. That's undeniable. But much more, the Brexit vote was a cry of pain by millions of working people up and down the country. And the result is, is that they have had enough of Cameron and Osborne. They've actually had enough of 40 years of Thatcherism. And they also are aware that they are not going to be divided by racist arguments and anti-migrant arguments. And therefore this demonstration, no to racism, no to austerity, refugees are welcome here, fits the bill and is the basis for increasing and widening that work. An ever broader movement that is committed to the election victory of Jeremy Corbyn, who represents all the very best of ideas in the Labour and Socialist movement. Support for refugees, against zero hour contracts, to build 200,000 council houses. We can build a mighty social movement that can sweep the Tories out of office and get in a government that will be much more responsive to the views of ordinary people.
The Black Lives Matter movement has appeared today at this demonstration against racism and austerity because the issues are linked. The reason racism exists is because it's used by the elites to divide and rule. And racism gets regenerated every generation. As Malcolm X said, wherever you see a capitalist, you see a bloodsucker. That's why Black Lives Matter movement is on this demonstration today, because it's linked. The issue of capitalism and racism are historically linked. Without the Atlantic slave trade that built capitalism, that's where they got the money for their industry, for their industrial revolution. They got it from the money they made out of slavery. And to explain that, in the age of so-called democracy, they invented racism. Racism which said that black people weren't part of this new equality and fraternity and equality because we were subhuman. And the legacy of that slavery is the legacy that lives with us today in the racist killings that are going across, across the United States of America, the police killings, the same police killings that we see in this country. because they use a method of divide and rule. They say, blame somebody else. And there's a man called Oscar Wilde, and he made this statement. He said, you're either looking at the stars or you're looking at the gutter, at the shit going by. And the stars belong to us. And we have to turn around to those people that try and use racism to divide us. But I want to make another special shout out to our Muslim brothers and sisters because I'm sick and tired at the way that they use Islamophobia to try and divide us. The truth is that we must make sure that everybody stands together in a movement against racism, Islamophobia, anti-Semitism, sexism, homophobia, and I tell you this, if we come out together, we can break them and we can make sure that as we get rid of the Tories, that we turn around and fight racism as well. We have two fists against austerity and against racism. Yes, use them both and beat our enemies that are trying to divide us.